Hey, what is up, PlayStation homebrew community? This is some pretty exciting news, and the news is basically, it looks like PlayStation 5 users up to version 7.61 is going to get a jailbreak. Now, let me go ahead and just break this down as I understand it right now. So the very first thing is, is that I talked about this in a video yesterday, and it was a security advisory from the Free BSD project. And the topic here was UMTX kernel panic or use after free. Now, down into this, we saw that malicious code could panic the kernel, potentially including code execution. And then, just two days after this announcement, there was this write-up, and it was FreeBSD 11.0 plus kernel LPE, and then user space mutexes use after free race condition. Now, keep in mind, this is FreeBSD 11.0, which is the base of what the PlayStation 5 runs. Now, inside of this article right here, there was all kinds of detailed information that really only developers and probably security experts would understand. And what kind of came out of this was, was that we saw just a little while ago this post from Fell Overflow, and it said, want to play with the free BSD UMTX exploit? Check out this site right here. So if you jump over to this page, it says this bug was found in early December 2020, not by me, but a genius who looked 15 minutes at it and immediately spotted it. This C++ implementation was made while experimenting with increasing exploit reliability after the PlayStation 5 kernel added some heap randomization features. Now, this is the instructions for setting up a virtual machine. And before you look at all of this, don't worry, you won't ever have to do this. This is absolutely for developers to go ahead and to take a look at and to play with. Now, if you do go into the C++ file here, you can always just come in here and do a control F. And then if you search for two forward slashes, this will obviously give you all of the comments. A lot of the times there's some great things to find in those comments. And then since this is C++, you can also do a search for print elf as I was doing right there, fstat. So there is just another message that will be displayed on the console. That's how at least I'm able to take a quick peek at what some of these files are talking about. And now, presumably, this repo just came out a couple of hours ago, but it seems to appear that flats already has a complete implementation for this. Yes, you heard me correctly. And not only did he give us one, but he gave us two. So let's look at this very first one. So it says, well, this is the PS5's UMTX exploit for BD-J. And if we take a look at a deleted tweet from the flow, it says right here, seems like Sony fixed the BD-JB path traversal sandbox escape on PS5 firmware 8.00. And then here is a proof of concept. And it says, enjoy native code execution on PS5 firmware 7.61. Now, this is already exciting enough. But not only did he give us this one right here for BD-J, he also gave us this one right here, which is for Lua. So we can jump on into 
this GitHub script right here. And Lua is obviously a bit more of an easier language, I think, in my opinion, to learn. Now, you can just scroll right on down here to the bottom here. And at the very end, what it states here is it will send a notification. And the message is kernel pwned. And so in case you didn't know, that is a really, really, really good thing. Now, there is one piece of information that we don't know right now. Obviously, that is what game was being used with this. Now, I'm sure he already has a game that is working with this. And I did see an interesting message over here from Lightning Mods. And it was, might come in handy if someone has an exploit for a game that uses Lua probably could be triggered with a PS4 game save. So, woo-wee! Things are getting spicy here in the PlayStation scene. Now, I did just see this message from Zecho Shell that I did want to just quickly go over again because I want to make sure that I got it right for all of you. Basically, there was a write-up by this random person, which was this right here. And a couple minutes later, Fell Overflow gives you the debugging free BSD VM code. And that is this right here. And next up, he states, a couple minutes later, Flats gives you the full-blown implementation for BD-JB and his userland Lua game, which is still to be determined. So anyway, always thank you, Zecho Shell, for writing these because it helps me validate and the community validate what we have just heard. Now, the biggest question that I do believe that is on everybody's mind because it is absolutely on mine, and that is, will we be getting backups for 7.61? And I will say, with my limited knowledge, I believe 100% we're going to get backups running. Now, right now, we only are able to play games on 4.51 and lower for the PlayStation 5. And, well, there's a ton of great games that came out right after that that we haven't been able to play. So, theoretically, all of this should work as it has done many, many times before. And over the next couple of maybe days or weeks, full-blown implementations of this should be available. Now, I also read in here that people felt that this one is going to be even more stable. So we may be getting an even better jailbreak. And do keep in mind, this is not for PlayStation 4. This is only for PlayStation 5 up to 7.61. As always, you know I'll keep you updated on everything that I learn, and I just greatly appreciate you for watching the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!